welcome to another video. So I know I've been gone for quite some time now. I know I had exams and yeah, I'm actually finished. I'm on spring break right now, so I try to film as much as possible. Actually, I've been on spring break for around like two weeks now when you're watching this, but I could film videos because my nails were gross and I just got my nails done yesterday. Look, aren't they cute? Hehe. <laughs> so anyways, I'm back now with filming and I'm super excited. I have a very special video today on how I take my notes. Actually, this is the first video that was sponsored. So I'm also really excited for that because I've never done any sponsored content before. This video is sponsored by Wondershare. Yay! <laughs> and Wondershare is a company that offers different computer programs and the one I'm going to talk about today is called PDF Element Pro 6. And with PDF Element Pro 6 you can basically edit and create PDFs. So let's start. So you can select files from various formats from your local computer or you can simply just drag and drop the PDF to PDF Elements or you can create a blank PDF. And when you open a PDF, you can see all the open PDFs in the top bar if you want to change your PDF editing. And what I'm going to do now is just simply add text as I would do in a normal lecture. And then on a the sidebar, there are a lot of different options on how you can edit your text. So another thing that is very helpful about this program is that it has OCR or optical character recognition which means that it can basically recognize the characters so you can write in the text as I do here which is especially useful if you want to add something onto your lecture slides. There are a lot of different comment options such as underlining, highlighting or you can even write on it with a pencil and the most fun part about in my opinion is that you can actually adjust the faintness of the color. So that was a very quick and easy example on what you can do. So choosing a good PDF editing software to take notes is very important because obviously you're going to study with those notes for your exams and the way you take your notes is very important because it helps you memorize stuff a lot easier. PDF Element gives you a variety of options on how you can edit your PDF which is especially good if you just have a laptop and not an iPad. It is sometimes very hard to take notes and lecture, I know that. It's just impossible to write everything down, especially like in a good order. So yeah, that was that. Obviously you can do a lot more things with the program than I just showed you because I just showed you like the basic things. But if you're interested in the program, I'll definitely have some links down below. So please make sure to check out the description box if you're interested in that. And yeah, let's move on with the video. <laughs> So now I'm going to show you my different note taking techniques and these are very easy but I think it could be quite helpful especially for like first year students who are not familiar with the whole note taking in lectures and stuff like that. So the app I really like to use is called GoodNotes and I usually take my notes on my iPad Pro. So yeah this is like the most efficient way for me. I usually just write onto the lecture slides directly and sometimes I like to add more slides to take some more notes. For classes there isn't something special about that either but I usually take my notes on my iPad and I print them out on paper afterwards so I can use them in my summary and I just copy what the tutor is writing on a board and sometimes I add my notes as well and yeah. I also use like regular paper sometimes. So as for my summary, I have two different techniques and I think this is the most interesting part of this video. So basically I either do my summary on my computer with Word and then I print it out and I do this for subjects which don't have any maths or formulas in it because I can't write formulas in the computer because it would take up a lot of time. So when I have like subjects like statistics or decision theory, I usually write down my summary onto paper because this is much more easier. So 
So now I'm giving you an example on how I organize my notes and I usually use white lines paper for that. I use a black gel pen and I like to color coordinate my notes so yeah this theme is yellow and I use a marker for that and when I don't have a marker I usually use a tumble and then I also use a Sarasa gel pen in the exact same color and I also use a calligraphy pen and then I additionally use another or sometimes two or three other colors. The first thing I usually do is the heather and then I underline it with this like strokes on the side and yeah the heather is usually like the main topic or the chapter and then my subtopics I will use a box for that and then I usually just define the subtopic and make some bullet points as you can see and yeah I like to use like different symbols so I can remember myself a lot better and yeah when I have formulas I usually put them in a box as well and I write the definition of the formula or the name of the formula on the side in the exact same color and then when I do graphs I usually use like the color from the whole theme. In this example I'm showing you like a regression line and then I'm just kind of trying to explain that I'm defining like the variables and yeah with my blue color I usually use that for like background information about certain bullet points or definitions or something like that and when something's important I will usually not highlight it but instead use like a different color for that and then I also use like subheaders. So yeah, that is basically it. Nothing really special. I know this was pretty quick, so I'm quickly going to show you my notes on how they look like. These are my statistics notes and as you can see I also print out pictures and put them onto my notes and these notes look organized but sometimes when you read it and when you don't understand my system it is kind of confusing but I like that system and I can remember stuff a lot better with that. So that was it for this video. Quick disclaimers before I end this video. Obviously my note taking method won't work for everybody else because everybody else learns differently so it depends on which type of learner you are. If you like to visualize things as I do like writing it down or making like charts and stuff like that then it may be work for you um, because I know like note taking takes up a lot of time in the studying process especially if you're a student who struggles with like understanding the topic it's better to have like less cute notes but to understand the subject better because the most important thing is to understand the subject and I can't stress this enough and I always tell my friends that you first have to understand the subject and understand what you're doing and then when you understand it you can write it down so that you can remember it better and when you look at it later you, you just have like this click moment in your brain and a lot of the time students myself included and my friends <laughs> we did this like we didn't understand the subject but we were just like let's make a summary anyways but that's not the point like i've learned it the hard way you have to understand the subject first trust me um i suggest you spend much more time in understanding it and if you have time you can make your notes look cute but you know cute notes aren't everything because they won't give you a good grade in the exam. Just your brain will give you a good grade <laughs> in the exam, if that makes sense. It takes so much time and it's just so unnecessary. And why, like a lot of subjects, for example me, I have like a lot of management subjects in, in which you just have to remember all the different models and stuff like that. So it's basically just remembering a lot of stuff. So it's not important to write the things down because you have to just remember them you know like i mean it is important to write them down but you don't have to like handwrite it i don't know if you like handwriting you can do that but from my experience it just takes up a lot of time and i rather spend that time 
in like focusing on understanding the things. I don't know if you can remember stuff good, maybe you don't need to understand it, but for me I hate like remembering things or like very unnecessary things in my opinion. Um, so I just like to understand it so I can remember it better, if that makes sense. And with that said, I hope you liked this video and I hope I could help some of you guys who struggle taking notes and I don't know, you wanted some inspiration or something like that. But yeah, I hope you found this video informative and I see you in my next video. Bye! See you soon!